You ever just wake up in the morning and think, I don't feel like doing anything? That was me like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> but I decided, why not? Let's just get into it. Let's get to episode two. Uh, it's been about three days since I watched episode one, and uh, unfortunately, as you guys saw, I wasn't able to upload the full video. I had to do like a highlight thing, and I wanted to get the full one up. It was going to be about 31 minutes. Uh, but I, I guess Studio Ufotable or whoever the animators or producers of the anime are, uh, they got in the way. And I send a dispute for it, but I don't have high hopes that they'll actually uh, let it go through and let the video go up. I'd be incredibly surprised if it did. Usually whenever I dispute these kind of things, they just tell me to go screw myself. Rooster Teeth has, Kadokawa has with Mirai Nikki. Some episodes have to be taken down and sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, but yeah, let's just get to episode two. It's been a while. Uh, I wasn't going to do anything but play Genshin Impact all day. Oh, if that's something you guys would be interested in, please let me know. Because I play that game quite a bit. Um, I'm kind of far into the game. So if I were to start playing it, I'd be like playing it as the game goes on. Uh, as it gets updated from this point on. It's June right now. Uh, so if that's something you guys would be interested in, please let me know. Like, maybe I could do challenge videos, stuff like that. Boss rushes, I've seen Rin Taicho do that, that's always fun. Uh, or I can make a completely new account, and I could just play like that. Play all the way from the beginning, get to where I am now, and maybe keep going from there, who knows. Uh, but, without further ado, episode 2, Trainer Sakonji Urokodaki. Uh, 3, 2, 1... Oh god, it's taking a while to load up. And there we go. Yay. Okay, so Tanjiro is on a journey at this point. Basket, straw, and bamboo. Hmm. No, he's not gonna charge him for a basket of bowls. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still paying you. <laughs> he refuses to take a handout. Oh god. Dude, calm down. <laughs> There's being a nice person and there is being aggressively nice. You just broke someone's hand because you wouldn't accept it for free. Oh god, where's she gone? Oh, there she <laughs> oh there she is. So he's been hiding her in a hole, or in a cave, that makes sense. Oh, right, obviously I can't have this in. But I love this intro though, Lisa's voice is amazing. That's a really good intro, it's really intense. Episode 2, Trainer Sakonji Urokodaki. Oh right, that's where uh, Tomioka told him to go, right? She dug a hole. He turned into a mole. She has multiple forms. Demon, little girl, and mole. Oh, so demons are super sensitive to sunlight. Oh, so he's building her a, a basket for her to sit in. That's pretty cool. Very nicely put together. <laughs> Talking to her like she's a kid. Which I guess she is now. <laughs> yeah, that's a little much. I believe she grew up. <gasps> oh, right, she was smaller yesterday. Right, after she transformed, she just kind of disappeared. Or sized down like crazy. Does she even understand anything you're saying? Oh my god, okay. Oh, she did! Okay, there we go. So she really can just change to get smaller or bigger. At will. I thought that was just like... A thing. A thing that happened when she transformed. That's very clever of him to walk around with her like that. And she's very quiet, so I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. 
Oh, right. He still doesn't know how to fight, so if he gets attacked by a demon... Well, I guess he just opens his backpack and lets her do the fighting then. And it's nighttime, so she can come out. <laughs> oh god, no, not again. Someone must have gotten hurt. Jesus. What is it about anime protests that can't stop running into danger? Ooh, oh my god. Oh, that's not good. Oh my god. Uh, close the door. Close the door. Oh no, she's hungry. Oh my god. She's gonna fight this person for some meat. Bro, get your sister a Slim Jim. Oh god. Whoa! That was... He's really fast, actually. Tanjiro. Even that wasn't enough. Right, they heal over time, especially if they're full. Oh god. And she's gonna go for the corpses. Wouldn't that make him mad though? He said it's his turf. Crap. Oh, this sucks. You're gonna snap your neck. Uh, Nezuko? Okay, she snapped out of it. Oh, go oh my god, she kicked his. <laughs> oh my god. Is he really dead? No, he's not dead. <laughs> oh my god, how strong is she? She field gold kicked his head off. <laughs> I can kind of see where he's coming from. <laughs> oh god, his body really can move freely. Oh god. Oh, this is. Wait, 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 what? What is this? His head grew arms? Oh my god. And his ear arms are thick. His hair too? What are you? And he headbutted him. Nice move. <laughs> Hard as a rock. Wait. Okay. We're missing a lot of context for Tanjiro. Like, he's not necessarily holding his own against a full demon. Oh, good. He's stuck. He's not, in, he's not entirely holding his own against a demon, but, like, he's not helpless. And if his head is as hard as a rock, hard enough to beat a demon into submission, then what is he? And she's still getting bullied. Don't do that. Oh my god! Um... Did you think this through? She probably didn't think that through. I mean, when the sister's in danger, the last thing he's probably thinking about is his own safety. 
Oh. Nice save. Is he beaten? Probably. Okay, nice teamwork. Oh, and he has a Tonto. This isn't the scent. Okay, so this isn't the guy that killed his family. It's easy to kill someone when they're about to kill you. Kill out of self-defense. That's easier to do than just to stab a knife through someone's head. That's not Nezuko. Can't finish him off with that. Is this guy a slayer too? Oh, this might be the guy who you're supposed to. And you use your own head to figure that out. No. Well, I mean, he could headbutt him again. I'll have to crush his head. That could work too, maybe? To crush his skull and smash it completely. I have to pound him with this rock many times. I bet he's gonna suffer. This guy bullied your sister like she was in preschool and nearly killed you and you still have compassion for him. He's too kind and can't make decisions. That's what Tomioka was yelling at him about. He's facing a demon, yet the scent of kindness remains. Okay, so that's something you can smell. Gyu? Ah. So this is the guy that Tomioka told him about. Is my body dead? Is he gonna grow another one? Can you do that? How did he grow arms from his ears? Oh, the sun's gonna come up and finish him for it. I guess you love dying. Well, hooray for vampirism, I guess. He took the easy way kill. <gasps> Wait, Nezuko, where is she? She just disappeared. And that guy is a slayer who knew Tomi Tomioka, so he didn't kill. Okay, she ran inside. Okay, good. Well, there's no way he would have just killed her like that. But, God, but where did he go? Oh, he buried the family that was here. I was wondering where they were. This guy is fast. That's crazy that they just stumble upon a demon like that and already a bunch of corpses. What will you do when your sister devours a human? That is a very good question. Kinda saw that coming. This guy judged him pretty hard earlier. Too slow. Too slow at making decisions. Too things to do. Kill your sister and slit your own belly and die. Mm. This guy is doing the same thing Tomioka did. He's giving him the worst case scenario so that Tanjiro can, can grow as far away from it as possible. 
Now I'm gonna test you and see if you're fit to become a member of the Demon Slayer Core. Carry your sister on your back and follow me. Oh, stamina training. Okay, it's leg day. Oh, this is gonna be rough. He's gonna need to do stuff like this too. And no footsteps whatsoever. This kind of training would be very good for him, carrying her on his back. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't know too much about the series, but I had no idea that she was his sister or that she turned into a demon. And screw running. Screw running. I've been where he is now and never again. That wasn't even the test. The test starts now, you asshole. We're gonna climb a mountain. Oh god. That's rough. Hmm. I'm surprised he actually trusts him. Well, Tomioka did set this up, so there's no way he would... Uh, I, there's no reason for me to doubt this guy. So exhausted, my legs are starting to buckle. Oh god. I mean, running that whole distance... With his, with Nezuko on his back? No wonder he's winded. I'm not gonna wait until daybreak? Huh? Wait! You're gonna leave him here? Thinks I might get lost in this thick fog. Wait, but his sense of smell. He, at most, he can find his way through to. Oh god, there are traps everywhere. Oh god! A catapult of rocks? There. Oh my god, okay. There are traps everywhere. So he can't just rely on his sense of smell. What are the chances that... Ah! Oh my god. What are the chances that he knew about his sense of smell? And that maybe this is trying to train his... He already has good reflexes as well. Oh, the mountain is so high up so he can't breathe. Don't panic. Because if he knew about his sense of smell from Tomioka, then this could be some kind of like eyesight training. Tanjiro already has a pretty good sense of, uh, or he already has pretty good reflexes. Jesus. These could easily kill him. Yeah, he already has really good speed and reflexes. I have a slightly different smell after all. Ah, God. Yeah, he really cannot. Doesn't mean I'm not athletic enough to dodge every one of them. Again, really good use of CG right there. God, he's getting beaten. Ah. 
I know I said I could probably trust this guy, but if Tanjiro can't make it back, then he probably will just kill Nezuko. So this is... Ah, uh, he made it back. <laughs> cool. Oh god, he's bleeding like crazy. That was pretty cool. Oh, there's a Sonyoka. I'm sending a boy your way who wants to become a demon slayer swordsman. He's brazen enough to attack me unarmed. His family was slaughtered by a demon. But I determined she will not attack humans. Yeah, and I'm surprised that when they got attacked by that demon earlier, Nezuko was drooling at those uh, bloody corpses. But hearing Tanjiro scream was enough to snap her out of it and go to protect him. I'm asking you to train him. Hmm. And there he is. <laughs> God, I love Tomioka. He's so cool. But why is it that um he decided to train them? I mean, maybe as a favor to Tomioka, but... If Demon Slayers are trained to hate demons, why would he just all of a sudden agree to train somebody to help protect his demon sister? I accept you as my student. Okay, are we gonna get a training arc now? Oh god, that's the end of the episode? Oh, To be continued. Okay, hey, 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 hey. I accidentally started the next episode. <laughs> okay, oh man. I was genuinely surprised when the episode ended. Like, I figured it would end in the middle of his training section. I'm genuinely surprised that it ended um, with him succeeding. Well, uh, not that I expected him to fail, but I expected like maybe it to cut with him still in the forest and maybe we get an extended training section, but I guess there's no reason to keep that going if he's already proven that he can survive it. So. Yeah, I'm glad that it... Again, like with the last episode, uh, I said that I liked how condensed it was. And that it told you everything you needed to give you context for the next episode. There was no cliffhanger. Well, there kind of was with them wandering off, but, you know, their adventure had begun. And that's all you needed for the first episode. For the second episode, Tanjiro has been... Uh, has been um, He's been accepted as a student to uh, Uro, uh, Uro Daki. Uro Ko I already forgot his name, I'm sorry. Uro Kodaki, that was his name, I think. Whatever, anyway. I like, the, uh, I like that. It means that the next episode we're going to get like an actual, probably physical training section or something like that. Or maybe a time skip. You know, to when Tanjiro is actually capable in a f Well, he's already capable in a fight. Honestly, I think that's what I like most about Tanjiro so far as a protagonist is that like in line with other shonen protags, you would assume them to be completely useless in a fight in the beginning until they get trained by a mentor character. But from the get-go before things were even shown uh, before things even got serious in the series, you see that Tanjiro is already pretty capable. He's able to carry a huge like basket full of charcoal into town and sell it to people he's able to hand he's able to handle himself in that regard and even when nezuko attacked him in her like two times as large form she was still able to he was still able to hold her off and he was able to kind of catch tomioka off guard as well and the way he handled himself against the demon in this episode, like I said, he wasn't exactly holding him off. Like, he was definitely going to die had Nezuko not field gold kicked the guy's head off. But he's still able to hold his own in some regard. He has really good speed. He has really good reflexes. Like, when the demon lunged out at him initially, before he could even be caught off guard for it, caught off guard by it, 
Tanjiro slit the guy's throat. He was still surprised, he was still scared, and obviously a little caught off guard, but his reflexes did not fail him in that regard. And I feel like something like that and his enhanced sense of smell and his head being incredibly hard, which there has to be something to that. There has to be something to A, one, his, his sense of smell, two, his head being incredibly strong, and the scar that he had, like that burn mark on his forehead. There has to be something to that, and I can't wait to see what that exactly is, and how they're going to play a factor in him getting stronger to continue to protect Nezuko, however he's going to accomplish that. Well, protecting her, yeah, but changing her back, that's going to be another thing. And also, Uro could his mentor guy, I'm still curious why he accepted to take Tanjiro in, to protect Nezuko and help turn her back. It, again, if it's just off of a recommendation from um, from Tomioka himself, that's one thing, but I figure demons would completely hate... I, I figure demon slayers would hate demons and want nothing to do with him, but Tanjiro proved himself and so he just accepted him to train him. So I can't wait to see where this goes on. I'm glad I finally watched this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope that you guys are eager for the next episode. I hope I can get this episode uploaded in full. If not, I'll uh, it'll be a highlight thing. I like I said, I'll do some things to see if I can get this uploaded in full some way. If not, then I'll highlight it is, but uh, until next time, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and take care of yourselves. Love you.